In a surprise move, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu dismissed his defense minister, Yoav Gallant, on Tuesday evening, igniting widespread protests across the country, including a blockade of central Tel Aviv. Netanyahu's announcement, which cited significant gaps and a crisis of trust between the two men, came after months of increasing tensions over Israel's response to the ongoing conflict with Hamas. The decision to remove Gallant, a former general with a reputation for pragmatism, came despite their differences over the war in Gaza. Gallant, who had advocated for a more diplomatic approach to resolve the hostage crisis and pursue a ceasefire with Hamas, had clashed with Netanyahu, who pushed for continued military pressure. Gallant's dismissal, which took place amid Israel's ongoing wars on multiple fronts, was met with immediate backlash, especially from families of Israeli hostages being held by Hamas. Many believe Netanyahu's hardline stance has jeopardized a potential diplomatic deal to secure the release of hostages. The grassroots organization representing these families accused Netanyahu of deliberately undermining efforts to negotiate a deal, with the statement condemning Gallant's firing as a direct continuation of these efforts. The protests against Netanyahu's actions were swift, with demonstrators blocking major roads in Tel Aviv, signaling mounting public dissatisfaction with the government's handling of the war and the crisis. The Prime Minister's decision to fire Gallant comes amid escalating frustration within Israel's right-wing coalition, where Netanyahu's partners have threatened to bring down the government if he makes concessions to Hamas. Gallant, who has long been respected for his leadership and no-nonsense demeanor, issued a statement following his dismissal, reiterating his commitment to Israel's security. Oh, no!